hello, what's going on everybody? Hey, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> they were about to go back on the shelf, that's for sure. We got Adam in here with us too. Right. Try to see if old Adam's in here or not. Trust a blade. All righty. All right, I think Adam's going to be here in a second. <clears throat> All right, so pretty straightforward break. Uh, we got a half and half. Another multi-box. Uh, let's see, we'll do a quick rundown since there's only two of you guys for this one. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you, Aaron. <laughs> All right, so we got Steam Vincent and Breeding Pool. Um, Hey, we'll just do it the easy way. We got island slot going out to Aaron, swamp slot going to Adam, the uh, forest slot going to Adam as well, mountains going out to Aaron, the plains going to Adam, and the multicolor rainbow going out to Aaron. All right, so pretty straightforward. Um, we went guilds and then Ravnica, so let's go Ravnica and then guilds. Got seven shock lands. Um, in total last time, um, 11 Mythics, we had a 6 Mythic Ravnica box, but no Foil Rare, so that was a little disappointing, but it is what it is. Yeah, Foil Trophy, let's go. We have a Triple Trophy box, I know there's got to be one out there. Right, so Ravnica Allegiance, here we go. Good luck, guys. And first up, we've got Tithe Taker kicking it off to Adam. So let's see if it holds true. We've had a Mythic on either the second or third pack of their far right pile. So let's see if we get one here. Ooh, far from a Mythic. Guardian Project. That one going out to Adam. Right, up next, what do we have? The Simic Ascendancy. That one going out to Aaron. Come on, jellyfish. I'm really rooting for some uh, foil mythics. Oh, Plaza of Harmony. 
that will go in out to air in. So we're making our way through the box one ofs. And our first mythic, Spawn of Mayhem, going out to Adam, and a foil Wayfinder, going that direction as well. Plaza's not the worst card, just it's not being abused just yet. Stomping ground, there we go. Shockland number one, step up there, Adam. All right, so one shock, one mythic down. And another box, one of the Empire. And that last box was a little weird, too. We didn't have any, uh, no duplicates. That was a little um, strange. Never seen that before. I got a good feeling about this one. Blood Crypts. There we go. Shock Land number two. Um, that one is going out to Aaron. And we got a Foil Beast. Blood Crypt was still about uh, 14 bucks, so not a bad pull at all. Boom, there we go. Sphinx of Foresight. Seeing a lot of play in the Jeskai Fires deck right now. What about uh, Tesa? I want duplicates of that one. <laughs> There's a few random ones that I wouldn't mind having uh, doubles of. Like this one. Shockland number three. There we go. Godless Shrine. That one going out to Adam. We two know where it's going, so I don't have to keep saying that. But hey, we got three shock lands in the first pile. That's what's up. Three shock lands and two mythics. Dang. Ravager worm. There we go. So far, this box is a. Uh, Completely different than the last, so having faith. Bet evil. I do believe there is a jellyfish in your future. Deputy of detention. Hey, that's not bad. You still like eight dollars. And up next, Tome of the Guild Pact plus Foil Senate Courier. Still no foil rares so far. Firewalker and Pestilent Spirits. That's what we ended the last one on. This pack is heavy. And it's not even a foil, I don't think. Incubation Druid, though. Still seeing play in standard.
I think we're getting close to that third mythic here. Judith. Scourge Diva. I love that artwork. That one is such a sweetly done. And our third mythic. Pretty much one of those every video this week so far. Uh, Rakdos. Light up the stage. Very nice. Electro dominance plus a foil leapfrog. And up next, going to be a Font of Agonies. Oh, nice. And we did get a Foil Rare this time. So, two for one. Uh, foil Thrash to Threat and a Font of Agonies. Sweet. Master. Hey, Calamity. And the Immolation Shaman with a foil burn bright. So I believe we had that many foils last go around, so that's good to see so early. Still got about two mythics floating around. Mass manipulation. Cinder Vines. All right, so last pile here. So last night I ended up playing some Jeskai Flash for Friday Night Magic. Came in second. It's pretty fun. A lot of Flash decks going around right now. Warrant to Warden. Is that our first? Split. Is there only what second split of the whole box? Huh. Don't see that too often. Right. And we have a Hero of Precinct 1. And something sweet. Kaya's Wrath. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so we're looking for one more Shockland at least, and hopefully one more Mythic. Zagana, Utopia Speaker. Screaming Shield. Hollowed Fountain. There we go. Next shock land up. So we are looking for one more. Love to see two more. Realistically, we need at least one more. Biomancer's familiar. Oh, I thought it was a blood crypt. Foil Rakdos Guildgate. Getting 
getting ever closer to hopefully another mythic. Third split card, Repudate to Replicate. That one going out to Aaron. And our next mythic, there we go, Biogenic Ooze. Four packs to go. The Angel. Get all the Gates stuff in this one. And a Gruel Spellbreaker. We got two packs after this one. Come on, let's see another shock. That's far from it. Lumbering Battlement. The Absolution. All right, last pack here. Yeah, I know. The little guy actually was worth a couple dollars. And then they made Oko, and things changed. It's so funny, like, post-banning of something, how it just will not go back to the old meta, and somehow things have changed. I just find it always rather amusing. Because it's like, oh my goodness, this deck is so good why hasn't it been played it's like it's always been good just couldn't beat one card so you can't play it alrighty how many shocks was that three or four Okay, it was four. I'm not crazy. All right, so another four shock box. Yeah, or something pretty close to that degree. All right, first pack. Hatchery Spider plus Foil Child of the Night. Second rare is going to be Legion War Boss. Pow! Deafening Clarion. There we go. Three mana sweepers. Gotta love them. We need a foil pack here. Pelt Collector. Not a bad one to grab. I think he might have a little bit of a spike after this next set. So Theros, back in the day, was pretty strong for the green uh, swamp. And the blue was pretty overpowered. But I don't see them going that direction with how, how Devotion and everything else ended up working out. Camaraderie. I don't know if you guys played back um, with Devotion, but that was some boring standard. Mono blue, mono black. Oh, Dawn of Hope. But I'm pretty excited for the new set. Some of the new mechanics are, are uh, interesting, to say the least. 
they should have more spoilers either this coming Monday or probably right after Christmas. Get everybody hyped up. Hello, Assassin's Trophy. We missed you earlier. Found number one. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that, Harley, man. Definitely take care of yourself first. This will be here. That I can guarantee you. Oh, but you guys just wait. Y'all wait till New Theros. Oh, we're going to be doing so many. Convene to Concord. So we're still holding at one shock so far from this box. Foil pack, here we go. Guild Mages Forum plus the Honorary Goblin. That pesky little guy. Man, I, I stopped keeping up with uh, magic lore because I promise it seems like, oh, there's a big battle. Oh, he died. Oh, he's back again. Oh, look at that. And how do you manage to pack it backwards? Omni spell adept. Citywide bust. Oh, there we go. A second of foil, deafening clarion. <laughs> we'll see if he's really done or not. Niv Mizzet plus Foil Crackling Drake. All right, so this box is not bad at all. Foils are pretty decent. Uh, we're getting a lot of standard playables. Well, maybe not so much the adept and the bust, but still got a couple of mythics to find in here. Like that one. And another foil. Dang. So, Garrison Surgeant foil and a March of the Multitudes. So let's follow that up with another sweet card. Something over 10 bucks. Ooh. Not bad, though. That's a lot of uh, Is It stuff. All in kind of one little run there. Exactly. So you got to make sure the car works so you can go to work to buy the magic cards that you need after work. And following up with Amara. This is a pretty interesting little box. We've got a nice uh, little guild theme going with green, white, and the red, blue. Kind of taking two different paths to what kind of deck you can make. Tokens or the flash. Boom. Runaway Steamkin. Is it shock time? Is it? Is it? It is. Temple Garden. There we go. Second shock of this box. That puts us at six in total. And we have a bounty agent. All right, so we're at that halfway marker to the last box believe we still have two more mythic chances and hoping on another shock land yep yep took the words right out of my mouth watery grave shock land number seven all 
All right, so I'm now even more hopeful for uh, the full eight. Might even get a foil one out of this box. Night of Autumn. And a Ritual of Soup with a foil patrol. Beam splitter and a narco amoeba. That little guy's been around forever. Oh, threw me off. We got a two for one. Oil Mausoleum Secrets and the Assure to Assemble. Oh, there it is. And a Risk Factor. That's a pretty sweet. Set of uncommons too. Lava coil, root, risk factor. Still sitting around three bucks, surprisingly. Next up, we have Fire Mines Research. All right, so we're on that last pile. Yeah, for sure. If you guys can scoop up stuff from like Walmart, Walgreens, and um, especially when they're on sale or you can get a price match, do it. It's so worth it. Vivid Revival. So the trick is you got to find them on sale at Walgreens, CVS, yada, yada, yada. And then you go to Walmart and say, hey, you have this right there. I have this right here. This is their price. I want to pay that price. Mnemonic Betrayal, our next mythic. Yeah, the Chaos Packs were pretty, pretty fun. I don't see those too often. Quasi duplicate. Oh, almost just cut right to the main thing. Chromatic lantern, there we go. And a foil crushing canopy. Chromatic Lantern and Commander. You said lots? Is that like big lots? Azone. I don't even know if we have big lots near here. And our next mythic. There we go. The Nullhide Ferox. Alrighty, something sweet. 
Charnel Troll plus the Elemental. Hm. All right, four packs to go. Okay, one more shock, one more something sweet. Oh, uh, second copy of the Firemines Research. So we had that as a double, a foil Clarion was a double. I got a sweet tooth right now. Boy, I wish I had something to eat. Beast Whisperer. All right, two more to go. That's weird. Usually they'll uh, they'll price match. I'd be talking to a manager like, "Hey, this is propaganda. You're lying to me about this." Yay! We did get a six mythic under realm lich. There we go. Right, last pack, everybody. Hopefully it ends on something nice. Oh, the Cyclops. All right, so that is going to be it for this break. Uh, not a bad box. We got seven Shocklands. Um, had another six Mythicker. And yeah, no complaints here. Palette from Target. <laughs> yeah, they might draw the line at something around there. All right, everybody. So that is going to do it for this second multi-box break today. I want to thank both of you guys, Adam and Aaron. They're actually one of our top breakers here. And always keep it interesting in the chat. So shout out to you guys for the continued support and appreciation that we have for what we're trying to do here. Um, everybody else that's watching, I want to thank you guys as well for being here to support what we have going on. Um, I'm going to pack all this stuff up and I had a couple people interested in doing another break. So we'll probably come back and attempt to do one more. So you guys stick around and we'll see you back here shortly.